three years ago we started off with two men, uh, uh, Andrew Wilkie and Peter Wishwells in the Parliament. Now we have 30. Now we have in every large parliament in South America hundreds of parliamentary supporters. The, the president of Obrador and the governing party of Mexico are supporters and make public demands upon the United States. In every large parliament in Europe, we visit them, Gabrielle and I and Stella. For example, the French parliament has 40 cross-party members and they talk a debate into parliament as to whether their parliament, the National Assembly, as to whether the French nation ought to extend asylum to Julian Assange. The Bundestag has a cross-party. The <coughs> Norwegian parliament has cross-party. The Austrian parliament has cross-party. The Council of Europe has made declarations that Julian must be freed. The chairwoman, or chair, of the Human Rights Commission of the Council of Europe has made the same, exactly the same statement. We are not by ourselves. It is a global phenomenon attending to a global problem. And Julian is the icon of that global problem. The debasement and abrogation of human rights, the debasement and abrogation of all of the wonderful civil artefacts that came about in the late 20th century as a result of a tragic Second World War. All of them have been partially or completely abrogated and in the case of Julian Assange, singularly everyone has. And this is not good for us and not good for the the means by which nations relate to each other and we relate to the state.